All right, welcome YouTube and YouTube subscribers. Scoofy here, back with another video for you guys today. And today is day number two of the $5 challenge. And like I said, we're going to be adding $5 to four different stocks. But before we get on into the video, let's go ahead and make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up, invite your friends and family, and go ahead and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified when the new update videos are coming, all right? So we're gonna be talking about a couple different platforms here today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys my four picks from Robinhood and from Public. So if you guys wanna check that out, I will be showing you that here in a second here. So let's go ahead and get on into the video and just take a look at that, all right? Don't forget, make sure you guys sign up with Public. The link will be down below in the description box. And don't forget to follow me. And also, make sure you guys sign up for Webull. You can get six free stocks only till January 10th. Okay, so if you guys don't know, we're gonna be doing a $5 challenge. It is $5 per day on four different stocks or one of the same stock, okay? You don't have to do four of them. You can just do one stock and do $5 a day on it. So the four that I'm gonna be showing you that I'm gonna be doing is on Robinhood is block as you can see here we're gonna put five dollars on block each day and each per week that will be thirty five dollars a week okay so if I'm correct at the end of the month you'll end up putting 140 somewhere around 140 150 into that one stock all right so you can choose a stock that you want to do that with um, I'm just showing you one of the ones I'm doing it with I'm doing it with four of them so uh, you know it's going to be a little bit a little bit tougher for me but for anybody that's just beginning or just starting off with stocks it doesn't matter your age it doesn't matter any of that stuff if you're starting off with stocks this is something anybody can do you can do it from from cash app robin hood cash app will probably be the easiest and i'll show you on there as well um, it's really simple really easy but like I said, $5 a day, just choose your stock. I'm gonna choose Block, I'm gonna choose Apple. I'm gonna probably go with, let me see, hmm, probably Uber. And then I'm also gonna go with, um, let's see here, who else can I go with here? Maybe like a smaller company uh, or I don't know, PayPal maybe, I don't know, I'm maybe thinking PayPal. Um, you know what, we're gonna go with, let's go with Nike, all right? So we'll put $5 on Nike as well, all right? So we'll do those four. We have Apple, Uber, Nike, and Tesla, I think it was. I don't know, any or no, Block it was, I'm sorry. So those are my four that we're gonna go with. We're gonna do $5 per day on each of those. That's $35 per week. You also have to include an extra five, ten $10 for the weekend, okay? So let's go ahead and switch over to Public so I can show you on there. Okay, so here is Public. Now, I am a fan of Public. I like it a lot. It kind of reminds me of like a Twitter or like a, you know, a social media place where you can buy stocks and just kind of conversate with people. It's really easy, really useful. Uh, you know, you can learn some stuff from different people too. So really cool. But anyway, so I'm going to choose four stocks from my Public app and just kind of do the $5 method with those as well. And like I was saying before, you can do this with just one stock. If you don't have the money like that, if you don't have enough you know, to necessarily do $5 a day on one specific stock, you could even, you could even do uh, you know, $1 a day. You could do a dollar a day. So you know, just, just, just anything, um, just put something in one specific stock every day and i think that will help you long term wise that will help you you know i don't know how young you are or how old you are but let's just say 30 years uh, you know that's going to help you out a lot and i know you guys are thinking 30 years like man that's a really long time i'm just giving you an example for example right if they people tell you what, or what we learn in school or wherever where we learn about finance they tell us, hey, put your money in your bank, save money in your bank account. Our parents tell us, put your money in your bank account, save that money, and boom, you'll be good in whatever amount of time. You'll earn your interest or you'll earn your interest, let's say 0.01% on your money, and that's nothing in, let's say, in 30 years, if you kept that money when it's time for you to retire, 40 years when it's time for you to retire, whenever it's time for you to retire, 
that money is not going to be nothing. That interest you earned on that money that you were saving that entire time is not going to be anything compared to if you took five dollars a day or a dollar a day, even whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you can afford, just something every day. OK, and this is just pretty much buying shares and fractional shares. You're not buying a full share. You're just working your way up to buy a share. All right. And like I said, five dollars a day, if you did that for a whole year, you're at eighteen hundred dollars that you've put in that one stop. OK, if you make at least 10 percent per year for 30 years, you will have at least an extra two hundred thousand in your bank or in your stocks on top of the 50,000 that you invested for those 30 years. So you have that 50,000 that you invested plus an additional around somewhere around 200,000 on top of that. Okay. Or maybe it's like 160,000, something like that. I haven't done the math quite yet, but I, I did it earlier and I know it's somewhere or one of those two numbers either hundred I think it equals total 200 and something thousand when you add up the 160 plus your 50 something. So just think about that, like versus if you were to put that money in a bank, you would only get 0.01% back on that money. And that's not nothing at all. That's nothing. So personally, I don't believe in the putting money in a bank saving method. There's other ways to make your money, make yours, make you money. And that's I think is key to life. Honestly, making your money, make you money for for generational wealth, for long term wealth, anything like that. You want your money making money for you. And banks to me is just not it. That being said, let's try this out. I say try it out. Let me know which app you sign up with. I will help you with anything, any questions you guys have. If you guys want to go over some some stocks you're thinking of or you got questions about anything, just let me know. Shoot me, put it in the comment box. I will definitely respond. Also, I recommend doing this with stocks that are you know are going to be here long term okay for example apple nike tesla amazon google you know or stock a stock that you just truly believe in if it's not a stock that you think will be here in forever at least one that you believe is just like it's just the stock stock you love okay if you do this method i guarantee you you will have way more and let's just say five years way more than what you put in in five years okay two years for example and in, in in just six months i've only put in let's just say 30 bucks into apple and i'm up 24 percent in just six months okay so and and as long as i average 10 percent each year on that stock i will have a lot more than what I put in, in five, 10 or whatever amount of years, okay? So that's the key. Keep putting money in each day, no matter what, if it's down, if it's up, you choose the time where you wanna put that money in. So if you see the stock is down at its lowest that you've seen for that day, and you wanna throw your $5 in, then do that, okay? That's what I would do. Otherwise, if you if the, the next day you see it's up or whatever, and you know, just put your five dollars in. Don't matter if it's up or down, just keep putting five dollars into that same stock every single day. Or if you want to just do it all in one chip, just throw 35 in there for the week so you don't have to worry about doing that five dollar thing. Just put thirty-five dollars into that one stock, and then you don't gotta worry about doing it until next week. Okay. So I wouldn't recommend doing it that way, but if you don't care about trying to watch the market and trying to see if it's up or down and all that and you just want to get it out the way and just put your 35 in then just put your 35 in otherwise i recommend you know just paying attention a little bit and just you know throw your five dollars in each day at the right times and you know that's it as long as you do that for consistent i would say a year just try a year if, if you don't if you haven't made more doubled your money in a year let's just say doubled it if you haven't doubled your money in a year you try this five dollar method then something is wrong then then i'm wrong okay yeah i'm wrong and let's you know what how about this if you don't double your money in a year i will give you a hundred bucks five people only five people all right we're gonna limit it to five people so five people if you don't double your money by doing this five dollar method and obviously you have to provide proof so i'm not gonna just give you a hundred bucks and just whatever if 
you can provide proof and I, it's going to be a year from now but in a year from now if you do this five dollar method and you don't double your money with a solid stock don't just try to do it with a, a penny stock and think oh you know in a year i'm gonna be good no with a solid stock like amazon tesla google you know the, the big dogs if you put five dollars in those per day for a year and you don't double your money then come talk to me and that's for five people all right and i'll mark you off all right so that's it that's all i got for you guys hopefully you guys understood that if you don't and you have questions just leave it in the comment box and reach out to me if you like this video and you want more of it and more information about learning the stocks in the simple easiest way go ahead subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell and invite your friends and family all right scoofy here and i'm out